If you have a dual computer setup like me, you probably don't want to keep switching your headphones connection when you want to listen to the other computer. It's just inconvenient and it would be much easier if you just hear both of the computers from one headset. So today I'll be showing you how to do just that with a simple program called Audio Relay. It's available on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. So basically what this program does is lets your computer stream its audio to another computer, so both computers' audios will be played on one computer with very little latency. Before you even set this up, you'll need to figure out which computer is going to be the server, and which computer is going to be the player. The server is a computer that will send its audio to another computer. For me, my Windows computer will be the server. And keep in mind, you will not plug in your headphones to the server. The player will receive the audio from the server and play it on its speakers, or headphones. I'll be using my MacBook as the player. You don't have to have it in that order, but having my MacBook as the player is much more convenient for me. Once again, make sure your headphones are connected to the player and not the server. If you're going to be gaming, I'd suggest making your gaming computer the player so you can connect your headphones directly into the computer. This is because sending audio through the network might take a little bit of time, and it's not really that big of a delay, it's only a couple of milliseconds, but sometimes it can get a little high and you might notice it a bit. Once you've figured out which device is which, then we can proceed with installing Audio Relay. If you already know how to install the program, just click on the chapters and skip to the server setup. First, open up any web browser and then search for audiorelay.net. This link will be in the description. Then click download at the top right. Now you'll see three versions, Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. But for now we're going to be focusing on Windows and Mac OS. Click download and then run the file. It might ask you for a password, so just put that there. And once the file opens, just select all the default options and then continue with the setup. And then click finish and Audio Relay will open up and then you've installed it on your Windows computer. On Mac OS, just go to the same website and download it from the same link. And then open up the file and drag it to your applications folder. When you open it up for the first time, it will prompt you with something like this. All you need to do is click open, and then once you do that, you'll be able to open the app. Now it's fully installed on your computer. If you're on Windows, there's one setting that you should have on. Click on settings at the left, and then scroll down. You can turn on dark mode, but that's not really the main point. Make sure the startup setting is on, so whenever you shut down or reboot your computer, it'll automatically start up when your computer turns on again. So to set up the actual server, just go back to server at the left, and then you'll see the audio device setting over here. Now from here, you're going to want to select which audio device you want to stream to the other computer. So it should be something like your speakers, because that is what you'll be hearing on your other computer. For me, it's just the default thing. If you do not know what audio device to select, there is something you can do to see which device is playing your audio. So go ahead and click your Windows button, and then search for Change System Sounds. Then click on open. Now click on playback. And then play any sound or music or just anything like that. And you'll see which device is making the noise. For me it's Steam streaming speakers. That's just what my default device is called. And that is what is selected in audio relay. It should already be there by default but if it isn't just select that device or whatever it's called for you. Now you're completely done with setting up the server. So now that your server is already set up, all you need to do is make sure this device is set up to be the player. So to do that, all you need to do is click on player at the top left. And now you see the audio device at the top right. This should be your headphones or whatever. If you don't see your headphones, just click on the refresh button. And then I'm just going to select my speakers. And you should see your server at the bottom. You can also connect to the server by using its local IP address. The local IP address is not what you use to connect to the internet. You can also see what it is by going to your server, and then seeing what it is at the top right. For me it's just 10.0.0.50, but anyways I'm just going to click on it and it will connect. Now all the audio that's coming from my Windows computer will also play on my MacBook from its speakers. So now I'm recording with my phone and my lavalier mic, and just so you can see that this actually does work. Once I first connect, it'll delay for a little bit and then it'll go back down to 0 milliseconds. Now I'm going to play my outro music on my Windows computer and I'll let you hear it from my MacBook.
Anyways, that is how you listen to two computers with one headset. If you're having trouble setting it up, leave a comment down below and I'll try to respond as fast as I can. If this was useful for you, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.